Hi guys, come on in. How is everyone doing? Wow, Facebook is telling me I'm at my 50th broadcast. How are you guys doing? Soccer fans 89, how are you doing tonight? Hope you're having a fantastic time. Come on in, come on in. Wow. Good evening, good night, good afternoon, wherever you guys are joining from. My name is Julia Spence. And I'm a faith and life coach. Hi, Jen. Thank you for joining on Facebook Live. Good evening. Yeah. So it's still pretty bright here on my side of Canada on the West Coast. Still pretty bright. Um, hope you guys had a great day. Hope you guys are getting yourselves prepared for bed. And you are going to take some time and reflect on your day and see you know assess the day and see how the day went so tonight we are talking about making peace with our past so you may ask how do i make peace with my past um so often we go through life and we are held back and we try to make the shift, like I've been encouraging us to pursue the things that God has called us to do, to live our dream, live our passion. But if we don't deal with the issues of the past, they tend to repeat themselves. So tonight, I want to pull out the section, when I spoke to you on upgrade, I want to pull out the section on self-assessment. And we're going to do a self-assessment tonight. We're going to take time and do a self-assessment. So before I get going any further, I want to pray. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for tonight. I want to thank you for every individual that is watching this live broadcast on Periscope and Facebook Live. And I want to thank you for all the replay viewers. I pray that tonight or whenever they listen to the broadcast that they get freedom and understanding and how to release themselves from the past so that they can be free to move into the future in jesus name amen amen so let's have a look at what i have written here in my notes so it's time to make peace with your past i don't know about you guys hi cousin suzanne thank you for joining from trinidad and tobago hope you guys are well Give my love to everyone on the island. Hi, Rosaline Odisa. Thank you for joining. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to take some time and greet you guys before I get started. Tonight we're talking about making peace with our past. Because if we don't make peace with our past, it tends to stop us from moving forward. Okay, I shared in a broadcast, a previous broadcast, that sometimes the little girl in us, the things that that little girl or little boy didn't get while we were growing up, tends to sometimes raise its head and try to trip up the adult, us. So I'm going to encourage us. Yet yeah, we're human and we're quick to forgive a child for the mistakes. We're all well, we're children as well, God's children, and we're continually learning. That is so true, Jennifer. We're continue, continually learning. And when we reflect on some of the things that we've experienced in life, you know, sometimes we're still carrying the emotions from it and the hurt. Sometimes you walk on the street and you see some person that may have done you something. And you know, we think nothing of it, right? But... When we harbor things like unforgiveness and bitterness and carry around the wounds, it puts us in a cage. And the more closed off we are to one individual, it also blocks us from having relationships, meaningful relationships with other people. Like we, we, you would say to me, well, Julia, well, how is that possible? You know, I love my husband. How can me not talking to my sister <clears throat> stop me? But if, if you cage in love, if you don't deal with the issues, if you don't deal with that relationship, it blocks the flow of all relationships. So I want to encourage us tonight to take the time and do that self-assessment. Is there any area of my life, of your life, 
where I'm still stuck, where my past either keeps repeating. I, I have different players in my life, but it's the same situation or where I, I experience some emotional hurt or emotional wound and it's stopping me from moving forward. I want you to take the time and reflect. Now, I wouldn't be a proper life or faith coach and not tell you to stop and reflect. Now, I know there are some people that say stop dwelling on the past, but if we don't know our history, we are prone to repeat it. So we only look back because we want to learn from the situation so that we can move on. That's why we look back. Okay, so I want to read just a portion of scripture from Genesis 19.26. So as I was talking to you, to us about being of, about upgrade, that God wants us to upgrade. God wants us to function at a higher level. Here's a situation where God was calling Lot and his family to upgrade. He was telling them, look, I'm going to destroy this place, Sodom and Gomorrah. I'm going to destroy it. And I want you guys to skedaddle. I want you to get out. Hi, Wanda. Thank you so much for joining. Haven't seen you on live in a while. Hope you and your lovely grandchildren are doing well. You are such a blessed woman with those beautiful grandkids and beautiful kids. So in Genesis 19, 26, this is what it says. But Lot's wife looked back and she became a pillar of salt. God was calling them to upgrade. He was saying, I'm going to destroy this place. I want you guys to get out. Get out. I want you guys to get out. But... I'm just going to check the volume here on uh, on uh, Periscope. Sorry about that. God was calling them to upgrade. He says, I want you guys to get out. I want you guys to skedaddle. I'm, I'm warning you that something is going to go down and I want you guys to get out. But because Lot's wife was stuck in the past, she didn't want to leave the past. And so she turned back. And she became a pillar of salt. So my question for us tonight is where in our life are we looking back? Is it in your marriage? Is your marriage going through a rough time and are you looking back to past lovers? I'm going to talk straight tonight. Are you looking back at past lovers? Are you having friends on Facebook that you were in relationships with and you are connecting with them to see if because the present marriage is not working out? Maybe one of my exes might be option B. Where in your life are you looking back? Because when she looked back, she got stuck. And when I look up the meaning of salt, salt is a preservative. So she was preserved in her past. But God was calling her and her family to move forward. So tonight, I want us to assess where... Are you looking back? I talked to you about marriage. It could be anything. You're looking to network and become friends with a new set of people. But are you holding on to bitterness from the previous network? Did you leave a church where they would have gossiped about you or treated you badly? Did you leave a job where your boss wasn't nice and the, the other co your co-workers were not nice? But you're trying to move forward into this next job. I want to caution you. That if we do not deal with the issues of the past, if we do not deal with the woundedness of our souls, then we remain stuck and we stay preserved in that particular area. And you ask yourself, well, why am I not moving forward in my business? Why am I not moving forward in my marriage? Why am I not moving forward in my new church? Why am I not moving forward? Why am I not moving forward? It's because... We are stuck in that particular area and we're not dealing with the soul issues. So I want to challenge us tonight as we're about to put our heads on our pillows <sighs> and rest for the night. Do a self-assessment. In order to move forward, you have to do that self-assessment. Because what we messed up in the past, it's going to show up in the future. Now let's talk about celebrities. We look at celebrities sometimes and we say, you know, we hear about their 
indiscretions and we laugh and we mock and we poke fingers at them. But how many of us know that that is the same thing that could happen to us if we do not deal with our own soul issues, the things that in the past that have been holding us back? So we have to be honest with ourselves. You have to ask yourself, do I want to move forward or do I want to stay stuck? You have the choice. So in order to make peace with your past, as the caption said, we have to assess the thing that is blocking us from moving forward. Because if my cup is, is filled up with challenges, if my cup is filled up with emotional woundedness, WMS3629. Thank you so much for joining on Periscope. My name is Julia Spence. I'm a life and faith coach. And tonight we are talking about um, making peace with our past so that we can move forward. And it's hard to sometimes figure out if we're stuck. And here's a clue if we're stuck in a particular area. How do I know that I'm stuck in a particular area? Please. You can't shake it. Thank you. How do I know that I'm stuck in a particular area? It's a cycle of defeat in my life. I keep repeating the same mistake, the same challenge. It's like you're going around and around in a merry-go-round. You can't seem to get off. That is an indication that you're stuck. Okay? So assess your life. If you want to move forward, if you want to prosper in your business, if you want to prosper in your marriage, if you want to prosper in your relationships... If you want to prosper, hi, sweetie. Okay, can you go back downstairs with Big Brother? Why? Thank you so much, because I'm doing a live broadcast. Okay? Thank you for visiting. I want to stay okay? with you. Okay, will you stay and you sit there, okay? Thank you. Yes, if you want to prosper, that's my daughter. If you want to prosper in your life, these are things that we have to do. We have to do that self-assessment. Or else we will not grow. Don't fool yourself. Don't let anybody fool you. Don't let anybody tell you, uh, that's in the past. But you know on the inside, when you see that particular person or when you deal with that particular issue, you know something happens on the inside in your body. You feel tense. You feel stressed out when you think of that person. You feel anxious when you have to go to those family gatherings. It's an indication that you have bottled up emotions that need to be released so that you can be liberated to move to the next phase. So whatever we don't deal with, it lingers and it prevents us from moving forward. So I want us to move forward. I want to move forward. I'm not telling you anything that I'm not doing. I'm constantly self-assessing. So not because I'm paranoid, <laughs> you know, but because I realize that if I'm not growing in a particular area, there's something that's blocking me from growing. And so therefore, I have to assess myself and say, you know, what's really happening here? So I want to encourage you guys. I want to thank you for joining. I want to thank you for joining and I want to thank you for doing the homework. So the homework is to self-assess. The homework is to self-assess, check and see if there's any area of your life that's stuck, and grow up. Be mature about it, okay? It's time for us to stop blaming people. When you reach your 30s and your 40s and your 50s and your 60s and your 70s, there's no way that we should still be blaming other people for the rut that we're in. So we look at ourselves soberly, and we say, look, this is an area that I want to do better. I'm going to pull up so that I can upgrade. Because in order for us to upgrade, we have to deal with the situations and circumstances that are fit, confronting us, that are stuck in the past. Okay, so thank you guys so much for joining. If this broadcast has been a blessing, remember to share. And some of you have been asking me to send you broadcasts. But if you ch check the, I think it's the blue uh, check mark. If you check that blue check mark, then Whenever I go live, you will get the notification and you'll be able to come on and hear the broadcast. And you can go on my page and just look for the previous broadcast. Over the last little while, we've been dealing with pursuing purpose. We've been dealing with it's time to upgrade. It's time to transition. It's time to become who God created us to be. And so I just want to encourage us to... I just want to encourage us to... 
take the step. Take the leap. If you want to study, go for it. If you want to open that business, go for it. Don't let anything stop you. And least of all, don't let your past stop you. Don't be like Lot's wife who looked back and she could never move forward again because she was preserved in that position of looking back. And there's a saying about looking back and not to look back in the rear view mirror because when you look back, that's not where you're going. If you're driving a car and you constantly look back in the rear view mirror, you're going to get into accidents. And some of us live our lives like that. Our life is a constant accident because we're not dealing with the things that are keeping us stuck. We're not dealing with the things that are uh, stopping us from moving forward. Okay? So I want to encourage us tonight. As you put your head on your pillow, ask yourself seriously, is there any area of your life that needs to be assessed? And if it is, don't put your head in the sand. Don't ignore it. In order for you to move forward, in order for you to upgrade, in order for you to... Give me a minute, please, guys. Okay? In order for you to be able to achieve those big dreams that you have if you go back to your childhood you you remember you wanted to be a pilot you wanted to own your own business you wanted to have a bed and breakfast you wanted all these amazing things right and they can still happen it's never too late i've heard countless stories of women and men that went went to university in their 70s and accomplished their their achieved their degree all kinds of things people started businesses late in in, in their more mature years and became successful and left a family legacy. So I'm encouraging us tonight to look at our lives. I keep repeating it because I want us to get the point. I want us to make that there's a correlation between dealing with the past. You're not looking back in regret. You're looking back because you want to see the mistakes that you keep making and why you're making them and you want to move forward. So we're only looking back to assess. We're not looking back to, to have regret. And how do we make peace with our past? We make peace by saying, this is what happened. I can never go back and fix it, but I can learn from it so that I can move forward in my life. And the next time I'm presented with that particular scenario, even though it may be different players, different people, then I'm able to say, you know what? This is what I learned when I experienced this in the past. It can't take me down anymore. That's why we look back. That's why I encourage people to look back. I know some people say, you know, suck it up. It's gone. Forget about it. But you can't forget about it because you have those emotions on the inside that keep churning every time you remember. And that's another indication. If you think about the person, you think about the scenario and those emotions are in there. You know, find a mirror. If you can't find somebody to talk to, find a mirror in your house and say, look, you know what? This is what happened to me. This is what I experienced. This is what I did. Or this is what was done to me and I don't like it. But how can I learn from my experience so that I can move on? That's how you make peace with your past. By acknowledging that it happened. By learning from it. And by moving on. Thank you so much for joining Shiro. That's how we make peace with our past. Because you can never go back and fix it. So the best thing to do is confront the past. Acknowledge what happened. Forgive yourself or anybody else that you need to forgive. And just keep moving. Because as big as and grand as those dreams are that we have. If we don't deal with the past issues. They're going to confront us. Every time we refuse to deal with them, it becomes more and more difficult. So like Lot's wife, she was stuck. She was literally stuck in the past because she didn't want to leave the place that God was moving her. God was upgrading her. He was moving her to a higher place. He was moving her to a grander place. But she refused. She refused. That was in Genesis 19 verse 26. She refused to embrace the upgrade that God was giving her. Who of you out there are refusing to, up, to embrace the upgrade? Because along with the upgrade comes dealing with the issues so that you can go to a higher level. And if we don't learn how to deal with issues at one level, there's no way that we're going to be successful in the, in the upgrade. 
So last week I shared with you guys about Upgrade. Please feel free to go back on my page and watch the message on Upgrade. It was last week, Thursday, I believe. And God wants us to upgrade, but he also wants us to deal with the issues that we have been experiencing that we refuse to deal with. If you don't want, <laughs> she's making sure that she gets in here. If you don't want to stay stuck like Lot's wife. Can you go downstairs, your brother? Okay, you sit there, okay? Thank you. If you do not want to, <laughs> look, Auntie Jennifer is saying hello, Bella. If you don't want to stay stuck, like Lot's wife, and so many other people that we see that have so many dreams. I remember Dr. Miles Monroe said that the graveyard is the richest place. Thank you, sweetie. Is the richest place on the earth. Why is it the richest place? Because all of those dreams and hopes and aspirations, <laughs> that's for you, Auntie Jen. Dreams and hopes and aspirations have gone down into the grave and they were never accomplished hi Tony thank you so much for joining on Facebook live please greet your lovely wife and your son for me please so tonight we're talking about making peace with our past and we said that we are well you didn't see it okay you're gonna have to watch the replay then <laughs> she sent a kiss for you Jen yes so we're gonna make peace with our past so that we can move forward we're going to face our, our past. We're going to confront our past. And we're going to say, look, there's nothing we can do about it. Nothing. It already happened. We can't take a time capsule and go backward. We want to move forward. So in order to move forward, we face it. We confront it. Hi, Mia. Thank you so much for joining. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We're going to face what happened to us in the past. And if... It turns out that it is extremely painful to face it. There are counselors out there that you can contact. Don't be ashamed. Do not be afraid to seek a counselor. Trust me when I tell you that. Counts people need counseling. And people refuse. You're not crazy if you go to a counselor. It means that. Okay, let me pause there. If your car is not working, what do you do? There's no shame in going to the mechanic, right? There's no shame in going to a counselor. If you want your emotional issues dealt with, we have to go to counseling. We have to go to counseling. So get the help that you need so that you can transition. Get the help that you need so you can upgrade. Because everybody's telling us, fulfill your dreams. You're filled with purpose. You're packed with purpose. You've come to the earth for such a time as this. I am an advocate of that. But I'm also a realist and I realize that there are some things that sometimes stand in our way in, in order for us to move forward. We have to deal with those issues so that we can fulfill the purpose that God has placed in our lives. So Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for again for everyone watching the broadcast. I want to thank you for courage for everyone that will watch this broadcast for everyone that has big dreams and aspirations, for everyone that has a prophetic word that you gave them, that they're going to accomplish great things in the earth, for Lord God, that they will be bold and courageous and they will deal with their past. They will make peace with their past so that they can move on. There is such a release that comes when you deal with your past. I've had to deal with mine. And it's a continuous process because you can't deal with everything one time. But as you get to one level of your life, you deal with those issues and you move on to the next stage of upgrade. Then there are another set of issues that will come to your mind that you have to deal with. It's a continuous process. Hi, Cousin Ryan. Thank you so much for joining. Hope you're having a great time. Greet my family for me or family for me. Right? So we're talking about making peace with our past mistakes, making peace with the things that people would have done to us over the years. We can't go back. We can't fix it. We don't have a time capsule. So let's confront the issues in our lives. The mistakes we've made. Hi, cuz. The mistakes we've made, we, we face these mistakes and we learn from the mistakes and we move on. So if you want to move on, if you want to upgrade, if you want to accomplish all that God has for you, that's the way to go. 
I encourage you. I have lived this. I'm not telling you anything that I have not lived. I have lived this. Since 1997, I gave my life to Christ. And since serving Christ, I recognize that he has a redemption plan. He said he came to set the captives free. So where are we captive in our emotions, in our relationships, in our finances? We're captive in a lot of places. And some of these things happened in our past. So what I did is as the Holy Spirit brings things to my mind that I have to deal with, I deal with them. And I, I'm experiencing liberty in my inner life. And that's why I encourage people. I'm not telling you anything I haven't done. I, I have proven it to be true. I have proven that Christ has set me free in many areas and I still have more work to do. So I encourage you to fulfill your purpose, but I also encourage you to deal with the issues. Because if we don't deal with issues, we stay stuck, just like Lot's wife, looking back, looking back. We can sit in our minds and look back at the hurt and the pain. And then how do we, here's another indication that we have past issues that need to be resolved. If we meet some person and they say something similar to, or they look, similar to the person that hurt us oh my goodness you start to get that feeling i keep touching in here this is the soulish area i keep touching in here in your gut you start to feel these things and then you get all tight and all tense okay so i'm giving you a coaching <laughs> i'm giving you a counseling session tonight because i want you guys free i want to see you guys free i want you guys I want us to make the correlation between the past hurts and the past wounds. Hi, Camaria. Thank you so much for joining on Periscope. My battery is low on the Periscope uh, device, so I hope that <laughs> I hope it doesn't go out. Right. So I want us to be free. So that's why I keep sharing. Pursue your dreams, but also deal with the issues. Tonight we're talking about making peace with our past. We're saying we can't go back. We can only move forward, but in order to move forward, we have to face the things that we've experienced, recognize that they're there, and we have to release them. We learn from them so that we don't make the same mistakes in the future, but we must face our past, confront our past as things come up, confront, move on. See, you confront, get higher, confront, get higher, confront, get higher. That's how you upgrade. How does, oh, how does Apple uh, give us new upgrades? Because they fixed the problem of the old phone. Yes, that's revelation right there. That's revelation right there. They fixed the problem in the old phone to make it better. Every upgrade, they deal with the issues and they make it better. And that's what God wants to do with us. He wants us to fix, he wants to work us to work with him to fix the problem at that level so that we can have the capacity, the room, because when you throw out the garbage, the garbage can becomes empty now. And you have room to fill. God wants to fill our souls now with good stuff. So if we were negative, he wants the negative mindset. He wants to fill our minds with wonderful things so that we can produce because out of the abundance of the heart, which is the soulish realm, the will, the emotions and the intellect, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks, the mouth produce, right? So in order for us to get the upgrade and have the capacity to get the revelation, we then have to let the junk come out. Don't be afraid to let the junk come out. It comes out anyways. When we don't deal with it, we spill out on people. We fight with people. We vomit on people and say negative words. That is the reality of life. So I'm a realist. I'm a Christian. And I know people have kooky ideas about Christians, but I'm a realist. I realize that in order for me to get the benefit of serving Christ, I have to let Christ free me of the things that slow me down. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. It has been a pleasure. Again, my name is Julia Spence. I'm a faith and life coach, and I've been encouraging us to upgrade, to pursue the things that God has created for us to do, because he says, I desire above all else that you prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. You hear that? Your soul has to prosper your will. Good night, Jen. Have a good rest, sweetie. Your, your will, your emotions, your intellect have to 
that's the area that we have the struggle. That's the area that we make decisions. That's the area that we think. That's the area that gets us all out of bent out of shape. So if we don't deal with the soul realm, we cannot prosper and be in good health. And there's the connection be between the emotions and good health. So that's why I'm working through my stuff. So that I can prosper in every area. And I believe that you want to prosper in every area. Otherwise, I would not be up here at after 7 minutes to 8 sharing this with you. So whoever you are, in the sound of my voice, and you desire to prosper in every area of your life, you have to go through the process of letting the soul be free. And God made the soul, so he's the only one that can liberate it. Okay? So... He will guide you into who you should see in order to get your soul free. So I want to encourage you tonight. You are made for purpose. You are made for greatness. Don't let your past slow you down any longer. Don't let your past hinder you. There's too much greatness in you. I saw a vision the other night. You guys know I operate in the prophetic. And so I, saw, I see visions. I saw the human body. And I saw gold in there. And there's a scripture that says that there's hidden treasure in us earthen vessels. I saw that gold inside the soul of humanity. So there's beauty in us to come out. Let's not let the past stop us. So again, I want to pray for us, Father, as we lay our heads on our pillows tonight. I ask you, Lord God, to bring to the minds of the individuals the areas that they need to work on so that they can upgrade, so that your kingdom can come and your will be done on earth as you've ordained it in heaven for everyone watching the broadcast and everyone that's live now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I give you thanks, Lord, and I give you praise for the testimonies that will be shared because people would have dealt with the issues and would now be walking in freedom. So I decree and declare freedom in every area of your lives. In Jesus' name. If this, if this broadcast has been a blessing, please share it out. Thank you so much for watching. And have yourselves a fantastic night. Sweet dreams. Bye now.